Hey guys, to start our soft pretzel recipe, I have one and one fourth cups of warm, not hot, whole milk. To it, I'm adding two and one fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, give it a whisk, then let it rest for five to 10 minutes to let the yeast activate. Now I need 500 grams of bread flour and one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt into a large bowl or the bowl of a stand mixer. Give it a stir, then add three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter that is slightly cooled and our yeast and milk mixture. Let this knead for five to seven minutes, eight to 10 minutes if you're kneading this by hand. We want a tacky but not sticky consistency. Form it into a nice taut ball and place it into a clean oiled bowl. Cover and let it rest for one hour or until it's doubled in size. While our dough rests, we can start our blue crab dip, which is a really easy recipe. It starts with eight ounces of blue crab meat, four ounces of full fat cream cheese, a half cup of shredded cheddar cheese, two tablespoons of mayo, two tablespoons of sour cream or plain Greek yogurt, some chopped parsley, two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning, the juice of half a lemon, a few dashes of hot sauce, and a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Stir together until everything is evenly combined. Pour it into a baking dish. Top with a little extra cheddar and Parmesan if you're feeling fancy. When you're ready to eat this, pop it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 to 30 minutes. You can cover it with aluminum foil to keep it warm if you need to. Returning to our pretzel dough, which has doubled in size, divide it into about eight equal portions. For each portion, you're going to roll it out into a long rope. Roll it with your hands, starting from the center, rolling your hands outward. Just get it as long as you can. Once you feel it's long enough, overlap the ends of the rope, creating an almost teardrop shape. Give it a twist and pull it back over to achieve the traditional pretzel shape. It's a lot easier than it sounds, I promise. Before we bake the pretzels, we have to boil them. I have eight cups of water and bring to a boil and a fourth cup of baked baking soda. I talk about this a little bit in my uh, ramen video. I'll leave a link for it in the description. It'll make the water more alkaline, giving our pretzels a better texture, long story short. Dip it into the solution for 20 to 30 seconds max, then take it out onto a parchment or silk pat lined baking sheet. Before going into the oven, I'm going to brush them down with egg wash, which will give us a golden brown crust and some sheen, and then sprinkle them with a generous pinch of coarse sea salt. Bake them at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. Once these come out of the oven, brush them down with some melted butter while they're still warm. These are best served warm. Between my partner, son, and I, these fresh, warm, buttery, soft, light, and chewy pretzels lasted all of five minutes. My partner's stamp of approval came with the quote, now that's a f***ing pretzel. These obviously are wonderful with crab dip, but you could also make beer cheese, spin dip, honey mustard. The options are endless, and instead of a soft pretzel, you can make pretzel buns or pretzel nuggets. Either way, you'll end up with soft, buttery, salty deliciousness.